The U.S. Army made an announcement regarding a contract modification awarded to BAE Systems Land and Armaments LP in York, Pennsylvania. The modification amounts to $432,590,330 and is related to the procurement of armored multipurpose vehicles AMPVs. The work for this project will primarily take place in York, Pennsylvania, and is expected to be completed by February 28, 2027. Funding for this contract comes from fiscal years 2022 and 2023, with a total obligation of $432,590,330 at the time of the award. The initial contract is valued at $797 million, with additional options that could potentially increase the total contract value to $1.6 billion. The AMPV is being introduced as a replacement for the M113 family of vehicles, which currently makes up approximately 30% of tracked vehicles in Armored Brigade Combat Teams ABCTs. This transition is aimed at addressing the shortcomings of the M113 in terms of protection, force security, mobility, and power, while also allowing for future technology integration and network compatibility with the Army. Major General Glenn Dean, the Program Executive Officer for Ground Combat Systems, emphasized the significance of the AMPV as a substantial investment decision for the Army, given the widespread use of the M113 family of vehicles in ABCTs. The AMPV offers improved protection and survivability for soldiers and shares a common powertrain and suspension with the M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle and the M109A7 Paladin self-propelled howitzer. This commonality reduces logistical and mechanical complexities within ABCTs. The 1st Armored Brigade Combat Team of the 3rd Infantry Division was the first unit to transition from M113S to AMPVs. After comprehensive training, the brigade received over 130 AMPVs in July to fully replace their existing vehicles. The Army is executing a phased approach to the development, production, and deployment of the AMPV. Currently, more than 276 out of the planned 450 vehicles have been acquired, and they are expected to be delivered by the end of 2024. Full-rate production vehicle deliveries are set to begin in early 2025. The AMPV ranks among the Army's top 35 modernization priorities and aligns with the strategy of ensuring protection, mobility, reliability, and interoperability. Over the next two decades, the Army anticipates a global fleet of nearly 3,000 AMPVs, encompassing five different variants to provide commanders with versatile capabilities for maneuvering across various ABCT battlefield scenarios. Major General Glenn Dean reiterated the significance of the AMPV variants, which equip commanders with effective tools for navigating the diverse ABCT battlefield environments.